Good morning, folks. Different day today. We'll be quickly running through the top stories so you can check out a few things with your time. Last 24 hours on our star were exceedingly calm here. No solar flares, no CMEs. The dark coronal hole is expected to have its solar wind reach us early next week, and that bright area to the left with the sunspots we saw yesterday has evaporated under the Earth-facing quiet effect. With two minutes left in yesterday's news upload, titled Quakes Coming, a 6.2 struck very shallow off the coast of Central America. It was an earth spot rumble as record-breaking tropical storm Adrian spun nearby, just like their last big one, a 6.9 when Hurricane Otto charged through in November. We've got the second volcano spewing major ash clouds in Kamchatka. Dr. Phillips' cosmic ray experiments demonstrate the continued march towards solar minimum with an increase in galactic cosmic rays. A spot of good news for the U.S. with the drought look, avoiding all but the periphery. So let's bring up the wind maps. We've got two concerns today. One is for that system rushing up the east coast of the United States here. Eye your local alerts. And the other is down under where, as Perth is taking a convergence line, another will reach the ocean moisture off the coast of Queensland and develop tomorrow. Now, a special message from our friend Dr. Robitaille. Hello there, observers, and thank you to Ben for having me on. My name is Dr. Robitaille, and Ben has discussed my work many times previously on this channel. I have decided to join YouTube myself over at Sky Scholar. There are a lot of phenomena such as solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and solar winds discussed daily on this channel. And I hope that by joining me over at Sky Scholar, you can learn even more about the sun and why it's not just a ball of gaseous plasma. We try to use special effects as much as possible to keep the viewing interesting, while also enhancing the ability to learn new concepts in astrophysics. Thank you again to Ben for having me on, and I hope to see all of you soon over at Sky Scholar. We'll all be sure to check out the new channel, and we also have Dr. Robitaille's second presentation from Observing the Frontier 2017. It's all about water, and that'll be coming up here later tonight. And speaking of Observing the Frontier, don't forget the details over at observatoryproject.com. Registration for OTF 2018 opens the 15th, that's in just two days, and that's at the start of the UTC day, so for those in the United States and Canada, that's tomorrow night. Lots of incentives to sign up early as well. Apart from the earthquake, it was quiet and expected to remain that way. Check out Dr. Robitaille's channel, check out observatoryproject.com, and if you missed the new Food Watch segment in yesterday's news, be sure to go back and watch the first of many. No time for pretty colors dancing to music today. You've got homework to do. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.